I'm sorry, boomers, this is fake. It's not real. The internet. Internet, in many ways, is a beautiful place. But the internet is also can be a scary place. I'm so scared right now. It's a place we can receive important information from all over the world in a way never before seen in recorded history. But it's also a place we can receive so much information and see so much content that we start questioning what reality is in the first place. Because the truth is these technologies are getting better every single day, making us live in a world that it's almost impossible to know for sure what is actually going on. Because between biases and different outlets with their own weird agendas, getting paid by, by huge corporations and billionaires, mixed with all the artificial intelligence, that even if you're someone like me who thinks they can spot a fake pretty well, it's always a good idea to double check, triple check, and still not believe it anyways until you, you're pretty sure. Because the truth is, it doesn't matter if you're a little old lady or a seasoned veteran programmer that makes the AI that comes up with this stuff and makes these fake videos and photos and content, or if you're somewhere in between. You are susceptible, I am susceptible, we're all susceptible to believing and seeing things that aren't real and then we believe that they are because it's just our default, right? But the point to this video is, is to change the default from belief to disbelief, or at least being able to stop yourself, ask yourself, is this real? And I've always been somebody that doesn't really believe things very easy, but I am very susceptible just like everyone else, especially if it is pushed in a certain direction that engages my biases. I think it's pretty obvious by now that if we want to get to a really cool future, the one that I want, basically Star Trek, that the human race has a lot of trials and tribulations, but perhaps one of the biggest ones that's not regularly talked talked about is our ever chase for better technology. We got the technology, but humans aren't adapting all that well. Our confined human consciousness and social structures just haven't caught up to technology and the way it works, giving a huge advantage to the ones that will use it for their own will and their own good without considering others, only considering their pocketbooks. Technology has brought us information and powers never before seen in recorded history, but it has also brought a whole bunch of trouble with it. The truth is humanity has more food, more resources, better everything than we've ever had ever, but right now we're having growing pains. We're way past fake emails from Nigerian princes, although <laughs> they still exist. Education is the key. Everybody needs to understand the powers and the weaknesses of technology if we want to make it to that future that I so desire. Because the sad truth is it can and is being used to trick, steal, deceive, and more than anything else, confuse large portions of the population, leading people to act and vote against their own interests. And this includes everybody, even the people that know technology really well and know everything I'm about to say in this video. There is no exception, and probably even Zuckerberg himself, assuming that he's human. That being said, and I'm no ageist, I even know an exception that helps me with my computer who's much older than me, and I run to him every time I have a problem. But the truth is, the largest portion of the population that's most likely to fall victim to misinformation, disinformation, and fake AI content in general is the boomer generation. So please don't be offended when I say, I'm sorry, boomers, this is fake. It's not real. It's not real. Neither is this. Still, it's not real. This isn't real either. iPhone or Android, there's a computer in your pocket. AI is getting better every single day. So anybody, everybody that is involved in using technology in any capacity, so pretty much everybody in like modern day, even if the stuff looks really, really real, it might be real, but you should probably assume that it's not and fact check. Fact check from many sources and different outlets, from multiple locations around the world if possible. Depending on what the topic is, more important and more fact checking you should do. This is fake. Yes, there was a fire in California. And yes, there was sadly an unprecedented amount of damage, but still, this is fake. The Hollywood sign still exists there were actual videos that went out and debunked it very quickly. However, 
there can be some pictures that look pretty darn real, especially when you're scrolling on your little screen and you're not really thinking about it. It's like, I don't know, with all the crazy stuff in the world, it's easy to be convinced because the truth is there's a lot of crazy stuff happening in the world. And when something crazy that's not real is mixed in with your feed, it's like your brain just goes, oh, okay. And sadly, while this fire was going on, there were horrible people, probably in desperate situations, at least I like to think, that were copying different agencies' websites and posing as actual nonprofits and people that honestly wanted to help. Many of these photos from these scammers looked very convincing. In fact, many from the websites that were posing as fake, it wasn't even AI. It was like, it was real photos that were taken and real damage, but the agencies themselves were fake. The Hollywood sign still remains intact. The truth is in modern day, it's becoming harder and harder to establish what is real when looking at screens, if that's the television, or the internet. But my first and probably most, and well definitely most important tip is to establish at least your own sense of what reality is. Having a good foundation of what you're willing to believe and what you're gonna be extremely skeptical about. This doesn't mean that it can't break the mold, like if somebody says aliens showed up in X, Y, or Z, maybe you don't believe it right away, maybe you see a video and you think that's AI, but if enough people come out and you see enough craziness, there's a critical mass of information coming from numerous sources from different locations and people that believe different things politically or scientifically or religiously, then there's probably at least some truth to it. The thing is about humans is that we are capable of huge conspiracies and organized lies, but it's hard to keep that contained for long and without incentive, people are going to try to find the truth. And it might take decades for that truth to come out sometimes, but it usually does. And if it doesn't, people become even more skeptical of it. And then you get more and more crazy conspiracies. I'm pretty sure that each and every one of us, like everybody in the entire planet, believes at least one or two things that is completely not true. But when you look at humanity as a whole and boil it down, there are some facts that we can we can all agree on. Because it's always kind of freaked me out the way like flat earthers think, like it becomes their personality. It's one thing to think the world is flat and think we should do experiments to figure out if it's flat. But when there's been so much proof of it and you've been in an airplane and you've been on a boat and then you, you know, you shoot late, go watch that Netflix documentary. There's like, they shoot a laser in the desert and it proves them wrong and they paid for it and it was their people, then at some point you have to be able to change your mind or else you're just blindly believing this thing and basing your personality on it. And for me, I've even experienced a lesser version of this when it comes to aliens because I totally believe aliens are real. I believe some things happened when I was a kid and I am just a big strong believer in UFOs and the ET phenomenon. But at the same time, I was so into that at one point that I started basing my personality on it. And when you start basing your personality on, on facts that may or may not be true or on conspiracies, just because it's fun, maybe you can base your personality on just doing research instead of believing something open-endedly. When you go into something looking for signs for something, you're going in there with a, a big bias to prove yourself right. If you like a politician or if you like a scientist or you totally believe aliens are real and then you read something that discredits what you originally thought and then you act emotionally on it, you are more likely to keep believing what you had thought to be true that isn't true. And maybe it still is true, so maybe you should find another resource. But at some point, you have to allow yourself to have critical mass and have it be okay to be wrong. 